Hello, welcome to another video. I'm Saint Castle, and you could go from this to this. Let's get started. This build is going to be for skeletons killing creepers. So if you didn't know, basically when a skeleton kills a creeper, it drops a disc. Oh, the skeleton has to kill the creeper, okay? For this to work, it has to be that way. But with this build, it's going to be so easy. So what you're going to need is TNT, water bucket, any block of any kind. I like mycelium because it looks good. Acacia boat, a ladder, a lava bucket. So you're going to need all this stuff. Starting off, dig out a five by five area. So one, two, three, four, five. And after you do that, then you just dig three down, dig all this out. Just like that. All right, and then step two is you're gonna get your water bucket here. Uh, so what you can do over here is to get infinite water. All you have to do is just put water here and water here, and then you can get infinite water here. So with that in mind, just jump in here, and in the corners, just put water, water, corner, water, corner, water. There we go. Okay, perfect. Just like that. That is step two. It's very easy. It's, this is not a hard build to do. Uh, step three is uh, what you're going to want to do is start from the middle on any side. Right? And then you're going to want to build three up. One, two, three. You're going to want to put two ladders. There we go. Then it's going to look like this. You're going to go one, two to the side, two this side to this side to fill in just like that so from here it's gonna be one two three four five all the way across and then two and then two and then connect it just like that next is with this line here you're gonna want to face left and then this is where you're gonna put your lava so what you want here is two blocks, maybe three blocks away from here. So that way you can run by for whatever reason, in case mobs are chasing you or whatever. But basically what you're going to do is get your block, whatever block you're going to build with, put two up and you just break here, 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 and here. And then you just jump up, place your lava. Okay. So it looks like this. It's going to look like this. Okay. So. Basically, it's going to stop. It's going to look like this. On the third one, when you come up this ladder here, you're going to want to put two blocks. You're going to run around like that. You're going to break this. You're going to put another two blocks here. You're going to break this one so you can see through like this. Break that so you can look down and watch the idiot creepers blow up and watch all those beautiful music discs drop down to the ground. And you're going to want to be able to look straight down so that way when there is an enemy here or here, they're going to see you and they're going to run off because they, they think they can reach you from here, but they can't. So what they'll do is they'll just walk straight off into this death pit here. And yeah, it's good, man. So you could place another block here like this to kind of protect yourself from falling. You just kind of run up here, go over here, stand right here. At the very edge like this and then the creeper will see you he, they won't blow up though they'll just fall right into here and then you just go grab another creeper and you can just fall down from here because it's three blocks one two three you won't take any fall damage okay uh so the next step is you want to build any sort of habitat any sort of house for you guessed it a skeleton so let's block this off so when you get a skeleton to get in this boat, just like that. Now, the easiest way to do that, to get a skeleton in, is to basically have this open. You're going to try to get a skeleton to walk into it. When you get the skeleton to walk into it, just get in there and just take it in like this and put it right there. You don't have to worry about... about uh, this guy's shooting you because all you have to do is get in and then he won't be able to shoot you. You can roll him around. He can't shoot you. You are safe in the boat with him. 
All right, so once you got them in there, block them in so no other mobs get in there with him. Can you all stop? Can, okay. All right, so when you got him in here and he's dormant, you don't want him shooting at you, so you block him off. Now, all you got to do next is come up here. Come around here. Place your TNT here, and the reason why is if you have a block here, you light it, sometimes it gets stuck here. So, you don't want a block right here, so you want that TNT right there. Say you got all this done, alright, and you, you got this many in here, alright? Uh, sometimes, rarely, I don't know if it's a glitch, one of them will explode, alright? And then it'll kill all of them and you gotta start all over. It's fine. It's fine. Just keep going. I'm telling you, you're gonna get about 10 to 20 discs, maybe even 30 discs per night. So no worries, okay? The next thing you gotta do is just let... There's an ice cream man outside. <laughs> There's an ice cream man just went by. Okay, back to the video. Alright, you're gonna wanna let this guy out. We'll open the door, basically. Like, hey, buddy! Okay, let's go. Don't kill me, please. Demonstration. All right. Now, what the lava is going to do is set that arrow on fire. Can you not? This is why I got the freaking thing. Okay. So now we just kind of sit right here. Just so you can see. You, you can see the, uh, the bottom of that block there. And then when you can do that, just kind of stand up. Duck. So this guy doesn't aimbot you in the freaking head. See? And then you just watch them as they die. Boom! Ow, ow! Okay, creative. Goodness gracious. And there you go, man. Look how much I got. Can you all stop bumper cars? Okay, uh... So th these are all the ones you can get. Even the broken ones. Even the broken ones. It is that simple. So it should look like this uh, when you're done. You just block him off and that's just a few times. All right, so now that we found another way to get all the other discs, there's a few you have to go out of your way to get. And the other side, playable disc, if you just go to the ancient city and look through any one of these chests and just open it, there's a chance you could find it. Let's see, is it over here? And there it is. So in this one ancient city, I was able to find the other side. Another disc you need to find in the ancient ruins is disc five, and you can only find it here. You need nine fragments to make one full disc five, okay? So if you check these chests, there's a chance you might find them. And once you get nine of these in the crafting table, just put them, just put nine fragments like this and you can make you can make yourself a disc five when you find the trail ruins look for suspicious gravel all right so if you're not sure which one it is all you gotta do is look at the, the block and then over here it says gravel this one right here is suspicious gravel so we're just gonna use the brush and just kind of see what it comes out now by doing this you can get the relic playable disc oh, this looks like one right here too so we'll just do this again very unlucky yep if you just check all the chests at the bastion remnant you could come out with pick step and that's all the playable discs that you can find in minecraft if this video has helped you please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one